Wednesday. I'm on a skateboard. Welcome to the morning routine. Happy Wednesday. Hope that guy doesn't throw a hip. Today's going to be a great show, though, by the way. We've got Gabrielle with the National Day of What? We've got Ray with some outstanding current events for employment. We also have Joe, Gary, and Clayton. And Lord knows what those boys are going to do. Hopefully there's just no bats involved. Have a great day, everybody. It's going to be an awesome show. <music> Happy Wednesday, everybody. This is The Morning Routine. You are in the right place. We have a great show for you today, like I said, with lots of fun stuff from everybody. So you're going to enjoy that. Stick around for all of that in just a little bit. What do I have for you today? Well, let's start with where we're at. Where are we? We're in the middle of the week. It's hump day, man. So Wednesday, one o'clock with Zach, Facebook Live. We're talking some employment stuff. Always a good time with Zach. Love that. And then as always, 6.30 tonight, Instagram Live. You never know what you're going to see. It could be me on a skateboard, filming myself skateboarding and on the live. Weird stuff happens, man, on the lives. Show up. Don't want to miss it. What else do we got? Thursday, Thursday at 10 o'clock, we have our social media walk, Facebook Live, 10 o'clock. And then Friday, Instagram Live, 1 o'clock, we have a very special guest that just got confirmed yesterday. You're not going to want to miss that. It's going to be a great one. So show up 1 o'clock Instagram Live on Friday for that one. Okay, so what do I have for you today? So on Wednesdays, we talk about employment and lots of jobs out there. We've even had some people tell us that the places that they work are hiring. We've had some people reach out for help on their resumes. They're ready to submit some resumes. So we're moving in the right direction. <clears throat> so what do we need to do? We need to recap a few things. One of those things we just talked about a few weeks ago, questions, questions, questions. What questions do interviewers ask the interviewees, right? And then what questions should the interviewees ask the interviewers? So I thought to myself, I'm gonna put these assistants to work. I got too many folks in this trailer not helping out. Let's put some of those guys to work. So. I put them to a test of answering and asking some interview questions. So let's take a look, see how each of those cool cats did answering and asking questions during an interview. Yeah, how's it going, hiring dude? Oh, what's my availability for a job? Well, you know, I gotta check the surf every morning, see if the waves are breaking just right. I gotta go, man. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, can I call you? Huh? Do I have any questions? Uh, uh, uh. Do you guys have Snapple? Uh, I know this is just an interview, but can I have a break? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what's that? What's my availability? Whoa, I'm here all night, man. Play every night. Yeah. <laughs> what? <clears throat> what? No, I, I'm not here for no job interview. I'm the performer at the speakeasy. Yeah, you know. What? Aw, oh, this isn't the speakeasy. Oh, crap. I, I be the captain, and I be asking the questions around here. Just answer the questions like I told you to, please. Now hold your tongue, lest you be it into octoplank. Why do you have to be so difficult? 
Hurry! Them be fighting words, lad! Why does this have to be so difficult? Uh, who said that? Oh, the witches they be wild around these parts. Feisty one, where you be? Hey, do you have a TikTok account so I can put it in my phone? So, maybe those are some of the things we don't want to do, some of the clothes we don't want to wear, and some of the things we don't want to say, right? Now, I know most of you know the questions to ask, are comfortable asking those questions for the most part, but just like those cool cats, set up your camera, set up your phone, get in front of the mirror, get in front of a friend or a family member, practice that a little bit. We're getting super close to getting those jobs. So let's get our practice in, okay? All right, so take that personal leadership, put it to work, get into work practicing. You should be laying out your clothes. You should have your routine ready to go. We've been going over and over and over this stuff. Remember, yes, we're stuck at home. Yes, we're stuck in the current situation that we're in. Slowly, it's gonna start getting better over time. Did it get better for a little bit and then got worse again? And then now what's it gonna do? It's gonna slowly get better over time, okay? So let's keep being ready to go when those jobs open up, when we really get back out into uh, uh, more of a normal uh, behavior, more of normal working environments. We need to be ready just because we're back kind of staying at home things are tightened up a little bit just because we're in that situation now doesn't mean we're going to be there next month or the month after that okay so this is slowly going to get better over time you do not want to be the one that wasn't ready to go okay lots of jobs out there lots of different things going on that makes this a prime time for us to go out and look for those jobs and try and get great jobs that we've been trying to get for a long time, okay? So focus on those questions. Remember, like, share, put some comments down there, need a little help, need a little guidance, wanna get on some Zoom calls, okay? I've been seeing lots of likes, I've been seeing lots of shares, you guys are doing a great job. I'm starting to get to a point where maybe we're about ready to pull a name from the hat. But we need more. Need more people liking and sharing, liking and sharing. Remember, the shares are the ones that get you in the hat for the drawing to be on the show for a special spot that we'll do. So keep up the good work. Now let's see what uh, our good friends have for us. Lots of fun stuff. They've been doing great. We're not going to slow down. We're going to keep going. So let's check it out. Hey, what's up, BCVI, TCVI? It's Ray here. Happy Wednesday. Uh, today's theme for me is uh, employment, like last week. I know you guys are going to discuss uh, some employment stuff with Zach. Usually, I'm pretty sure on Wednesday. So today, I kind of wanted to share some 
more information about how to adapt as far as employment is concerned to uh, this current situation where we cannot uh, go out. So one of the things I wanted to share with you guys is some current events about the state of job fairs. I know we used to go to job fairs in person. Well, that can't happen right now. So the thing that I wanted to make you guys aware of is that the world of virtual online job fairs is already happening. Check it out. From the state of Kentucky, Kentucky Career Center to hold virtual job fair. From the state of Ohio, Ohio means jobs to hold the first ever virtual job fair. And last but not least, employers seek military veterans for a virtual job fair event. Stay tuned for more employment news next Wednesday. Bye. Well, 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 it's Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to July 22nd, 2020. We are uh, halfway through another week. Hope you guys are working on those uh, cooking recipes. I know I've got I've to get mine going as well. Hope you guys are enjoying the morning routine and just, you know, all the wonderful things in life that we are surrounded by. And, you know, you guys got a lot of good in this world and... Let's go back into the past with Zach. So, in 1864, General Sherman, he was on his march to the sea. Uh, basically, it was all-out warfare on the citizens, basically to break the southern, southerners back. Um, the idea was to basically scorch the earth, live off the land, and just terrorize the south and basically make those fighting in the north think about their, their family and their you know properties and things at home. Well, on this day in 1864, General Sherman fought John Bell Hood. At this point, John Bell Hood was fighting without an arm. Uh, he had a leg. He had to get put up on a horse by his soldiers. He, a very brave, brave, but reckless general. And so General Sherman defeated him in the Battle of Atlanta, and then Atlanta burned after that battle, and uh, it's really a big controversy still to this day in the Civil War. 1933, uh, the first solo flight, we hear a lot about flying, and we hear all these wonderful things about technology, but the first solo flight around the world, it took seven days and 19 hours, so obviously it had to stop at various places to keep itself going. But it was the 1933 by Wiley Post. Robert E. Lee, speaking of Civil War, uh, he was the Confederate General for the Army of Virginia. Uh, and uh, 1975, after he basically said, I denounce the Union, I denounce the federal government, I'm going to side with the treasonous Confederacy. In 1975, they finally, the House of Representatives, gave him his United States citizenship back. Obviously, he had been dead for almost 100 years at this point, 98, I believe, to be exact. And, but he is now a U.S. citizen again. Danny Glover, 1946, was born on this day. 1992, Selena Gomez was born on this day. I know a lot of you guys out there pay attention to that one. 1955, William Defoe. I love the movie Platoon, one of my favorite William Dafoe films. Uh, he was also born on this day. And last but not least, I know we've been hearing some trivia Jeopardy. Well, Alex Trebek was also born on this day, 1940. You guys, I hope you liked a little bit of that history I gave you today. And I want you guys to have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. I look forward to seeing you later on. Have a great day. Bye, everybody. Hi, guys. Um, happy Wednesday. Um, my uh, report, or whatever you want to call it today, is about how to um, sterilize one of these little bad boys. It's an um, N95 N? N95 um, respirator mask. So y'all might have these. Um, normally they're like a one-use thing, but you can. According to the CDC, they just released uh, this information. You can use them more than once. To do that, you're going to want to sterilize them with, um, according to them, you can use your Instant Pot. Now, not all Instant Pots are usable. The, the model I have 
I believe have the duo. Um, that won't do it because it doesn't have the proper function on it. Um, if you're going to do it in your Instant Pot, you have to have a sous vide um, mode on your Instant Pot. S O U S V I D E. Sous vide. Um, to be able to do that. Okay, here's what you got to do. I keep looking at the wrong spot where the camera is not, so I'm going to try to get this right. You take your, your respirator mask. Put it in a paper bag, lunch bag, not a big one, just a small lunch bag. Staple it closed at the top. Staple it. And what this is going to do is, with the water you're going to put in the bottom of your instant pot, and yes, put some water in there, I would suggest. Maybe about a cup. Um, maybe it's have the exact amount, but a cu about a cup. Since you're gonna wanting, you're going to be wanting to make a moist for this. I'm not the one who wrote it. It's called moist. Sorry, thank you. Um, then you're gonna want to take this, but first put a trivet in your instant pot, but trivet it high enough that's gonna be above the water level. So this is gonna sit. Not in water, okay? It's gotta be not in water. So this is it's gonna be like steam squashed into it, okay? So put it, uh, put your trivet in there. They suggest you clip the sides of your trivet so it's higher up than it normally would be above the water level. Trivet it, put this in, set your instant pot to 30 minutes and 149 degrees in sous vide mode. So you can see this. I have to write it um, regular ways and then you see it through the paper because backwards is a thing on these cameras. 149 degrees, sous vide, 30 minutes. And that should do it. Take it out, let it air dry, and you should be able to use your um, M95, N95 um, respirator mask. Again, I keep not looking at it. There you go, guys. Have a good Wednesday. Be safe out there. Be strong like I know you guys are. Wear your face mask. Stay hydrated even when it's overcast like this. Stay hydrated. It's, it's deceptively... Um, Sucking away your water, okay? So stay hydrated, drink a lot of water, keep your masks on, keep that six feet distance. Have a good rest of the week, guys. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, how you doing? And happy Wednesday morning. You know, I gotta be honest with you, I haven't been feeling very motivated lately. Not today. And then I was like, uh, you know, maybe I'll just skip the video and, you know, Nobody will know the difference, will they? But then I remember that several weeks ago, months ago, I made a deal with Carl that I would make sure that I got these turned in and I was part of them. And so that made me wonder, well, what is my integrity if I don't live up to my end of the deal? What if I just don't turn one in. It won't be whether anybody misses it or not, or if anybody watches it. What will be the difference is what my integrity to Carl would be. Because I said, I will do this. So if I don't do it, then my honesty is lacking. What is integrity? Integrity is the ability of being honest and having strong moral principles and moral uprightness. Meaning that you're a moral guide. Follow that. That's your integrity. I once heard it say, when the boss isn't around, if you act differently than when the boss is around, then your integrity is in question. So, integrity. It's not the word of the day. It's kind of my positive quote of the day because sometimes we don't feel motivated, but our integrity should go above what our motivation is. So anyways, that's my little thing today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And remember, 
even when you don't feel like doing something, but you said you would do it. Or if you say you did something, but you didn't do it. Somebody asks you, hey, did you get this done? Oh yeah, 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 I got that done. But you only got 50% of it done. That's telling a lie, but kind of telling the truth. But bottom line is you're not being honest and therefore your integrity is what they will remember. You guys take care. See you around. All right guys, so today is uh, Job Improvement Wednesday. So I was looking through the want ads and I found an ad in the paper to be Tom Brady's cowboy. It's the job I have always wanted because I love Tom Brady. So, to get better at a job, what do you have to do? You have to practice. So when I go to my job interview, I can show them the skills I have. So, I've got my towel and I've got a giant image of Tom Brady, all sweaty. So what you gotta do, guys, is you dab it. Dab, wipe. You don't wanna get the eye makeup. You don't wanna make it where you can't see. You just wipe the sweat off his brow. Because we want Tom Brady to throw lots of touchdowns. So you just wipe the brow. Wipe it. Just like that. And when I practice, I'll be better skilled. So when I get the job, I can do it perfect. Just like Tom Brady. I love you, Tom Brady. Bye, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. These guys are outstanding. They are outstanding. And I love what everybody's doing. So we're gonna keep up the keeping up and have fun all along the way. And you guys are gonna come along with us, all right? If you're new to the show, welcome. If you've been here since the beginning, thank you. And like and share, get this out to your friends and family. Remember, we don't know who needs a little help. Maybe this just puts a little bit of a smile on their face. Okay guys, one o'clock Facebook Live with Zach. See you there. See you 6.30 tonight on the Instagram Live. Have a great, great day. We'll see you later.